Hello and welcome to the Crypto Wig YouTube channel. Happy 2023. Let's have a look at what Tomb has to offer. So the Q4 2022 Genesis pools have ended and as of midnight today, the Q1 2023 pools have started. So we are at uh, tomb.com currently. Uh, let's have a look what the Genesis pools have to offer. So going into the Genesis pools on tomb.com, you can see that now it has Q1 of 2023 selected. And now if you're wondering where your pool is from the Q4 2022, if you select this option here, you can see that there are the old pools. So if you think your staked assets have gone missing, you just need to select from this drop down tab here and uh, select the old pool where you were staked and then that will show you. So select inactive. If you then click on my Genesis, it leaves this selected and it will show you down here anything that you had staked in the previous pool. If you then go back to Q1, it'll go back to active again uh, and then you can choose from any of these assets here um, with quite considerable APRs currently um, and stake into these assets. So obviously tomb.com is on the Phantom network um, but if you were wanting to seek out those higher APRs then we have some different options available now. Uh, so the Tomb chain, uh, which uses Tomb as gas instead of Phantom as gas, uh, is available if you go to life.com. So let's go there next. LIF3.com. So we pop into there. And then we're going to make sure that we've got Tomb Chain selected to begin with. So make sure that you switch the network to the correct chain that you're looking at. Ignore that. So now we have got Tomb Chain selected. If you go up to your MetaMask wallet, you'll see up here that Tomb Chain is currently selected and that your gas would be paid using Tomb. Uh, so now we can look at the nursery for Tomb Chain. So you can see it's got 2023 Q1 selected. This isn't a drop down menu. So if you was to look for your old pools, they would be on 2022 Q4. Um, in here you can see all of the different APRs that are available. Note that they are higher than the Phantom Chain ones because the TVL is currently lower purely because less people want to have to bridge their tokens across. Um, so if we were talking about trying to move assets from the Phantom network, then you would go up to the bridge option here. Um, so if you're on Phantom, you would then switch your network, make sure that you're on the Phantom network. You would select whatever your asset is that you want to bridge, and then you would move it over to there by typing in the amount that you want to move. So if we're looking for something that we've got on this chain, so let's say we wanted to move some life across, you'd select the life that you want to move, Hit the bridge option, the MetaMask pop up will appear, um, showing you you're paying your gas in Phantom. Hit the confirm button, and then the uh, amount will move over onto Tomb Chain, and it's it's almost instant. Um, it takes however long the um, the transaction takes to process on the Phantom network, and then it will appear back on Tomb Chain. Um, in reverse, uh, it's very similar. Um, so I clicked here, swapped that over, and then 
accepted tomb chain we don't want to go to polygon network right now we want to be on tomb chain um so now you can see i've i've got 11.9 here so i would move the 11.9 click bridge uh, you can see there's a fee of two tomb which is ridiculously cheap to bridge it back uh, and it's going to cost a gas of 0 0.01 tomb so that's how to move your assets between phantom chain and tomb chain and then obviously once they're here you can then go to the nursery and you can stake uh, like whatever it is that you want to stake so you know if i wanted to do this i could uh, approve the l share pool um see how quick that transaction was it's rapid and cost absolutely nothing uh and then hit max hit deposit and then uh, it would deposit into there. Um, so you can choose whatever assets it is that you want. Um, obviously, some have higher APRs than others, um, but these aren't even the DGEN APRs yet. These are the uh, readily accessible ones because people already had assets on this chain. Uh, and the, the Polygon and BNB pools are new for 2023 q1 so next we're going to pop over there and we're going to have a look at what they have to offer so let's go to the polygon chain next so we go we've got polygon selected here and it hasn't hasn't swapped over so let's try that again let's go to let's try bnb chain so we're going to swap from tomb chain where we just were to the binance smart chain click switch network ignore this pop-up here cancel that one so now we've got bnb chain selected here and in the wallet we've got bsc selected there so that should work now so when we go to the nursery this will show us all of the aprs that are available um so we've currently got 150% on stable coins, 60% on a stable coin. Um, these APRs, obviously, people are now moving their money across. Um, they've, they've woken up to the new year and they've uh, spotted these DGEN APRs and they have thrown their money into these pools. Uh, so, I mean, if you have any of these assets or you'd like to move any of these assets over there, then um, feel free to take advantage of these new high APRs um, let's go have a look next at uh, Polygon obviously if you're on the um, sorry if you're on the BNB chain then uh, you will be paying your gas using um, BNB as it says up here so you will pay your gas in BNB uh, so you have to make sure that you have got some BNB in your wallet to be able to process the transactions on this chain and I was finding they were costing around about 17 cents per transaction when i was using bnb chain last night uh, so let's pop over next to polygon so we're going to swap from bsc to the polygon network switch so we've got polygon selected up here in the metamask wallet we've now got polygon selected up there and you can see the aprs that are available on this network uh, so if you wanted to bridge between the two networks you would be going to multi-chain so on here you can bridge life uh, all of the tomb assets can be bridged uh, so if you look go you can bridge tomb you can bridge t-share you can bridge l3 usd you can bridge l share uh, and obviously you can bridge all of the uh, standard assets as well um, so you can move them if we're trying to move them to the polygon network you would need to go initially so you would select select the network that you want to bridge from 
So make sure that you approve the network and then switch the network to the correct network. So now we are on Phantom. Just double check up here. We're on Phantom. You can now bridge your assets from the Phantom chain where you can purchase anything that you wish to use. Uh, if you go to tomb, tomb dot com. So if you want to buy these assets in the first place, you go to tomb.com and you go to the swap page. This is where all of the liquidity is for L3 USD, uh, Tomb, T shares, L shares, and Life. Um, the other place where you can buy L3 USD is if you go to the Curve Factory. I'll put these links down below in the description. Uh, so this is where you go if you want to uh, swap from, let's say, USDC to L3 USD. Uh, this is where you would need to be. So you'd obviously do the swap to L3, and then you would come over here. You would select L3 in here. And then you can bridge the L3 over to your preferred chain. So either BNB or Polygon are the two options currently. And so that about wraps it up for this uh, tutorial. It uh, has explained uh, how to move your assets across from the Phantom Network to the other three chains. Um, so if you liked this content, give me a like and a sub. There will be further videos coming out when more features are released. Obviously, the uh, features right now on Binance Smart Chain and Polygon are purely um, the genesis pools. So it's single staking your assets in order to earn life. Uh, those chains currently have very, very little liquidity uh, on the swaps. So, I mean, if you was to go back to, let's say, Polygon and go to the swap page, and then if you was to swap between Matic and Life, because they're the only, um, only options right now. So, if you wanted to swap 10 Matic, um, you would have a 10% price impact because there's only around about $120 worth of uh, liquidity in that pool right now. As you can see, the garden is coming soon. Once the garden arrives, then the liquidity will massively increase because the liquidity will be incentivized by you creating and staking LPs and then being paid in L share. And then obviously the L share will be taken and placed onto Tomb Chain. Do, 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 do. Go from Tomb Chain. And you can go and stake it in the fountain. Um, there we go. So, yep, once you stake it in the fountain, then obviously you are paid in life as it says up here um so they're just implementing more and more pieces of the puzzle uh to allow you to stake assets and earn, earn assets and uh, creating an, an ecosystem that's now cross-chain uh so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this content and um i'll be back soon thank you very much